Because, Sean, you know what the head of the Taliban respects? Strength, toughness. You know what the head of North Korea, you know, it respects? Toughness. What do you think Vladimir Putin, who ran the KGB, respects? A guy on a beach cruiser? You know Eric Trump, ladies and gentlemen, a man who knows a thing or two about respect, right? The second Trump son went to Fox News to go on an absolutely ridiculous rant about his daddy, his daddy's daddy, Putin, and Joe Biden's bike. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. Eric Trump showcased why he's the lesser of the Trump children in a rant on Sean Hannity's show the other day. As the executive vice president of the Trump Organization, something that'll probably get him subpoenaed again, Eric started with this odd attack on Joe Biden. Check this out. You know, look at that picture of him on the bike, right? I mean, here you have Biden riding this beach cruiser. He's got this big kind of, you know, ridiculous reflector on the front of it. I mean, it may as well have had a little horn on there. And he's riding slowly. He's probably going to go get ice cream, right? Literally, in a, you know, in a world where, you know, you almost have World War III, everything that you guys have been talking about on the show up to this point, but all the problems, you know, here domestically, and the guy's literally riding a beach cruiser around the place, right? I mean, my father would be giving speeches in front of F-35s talking about how he's building the greatest military the world has ever seen. He'd be out there lobbying for, you know, defense funding so he could rebuild the military. He'd be talking about rebuilding the nuclear arsenals. He'd be taking out, you know, Soleimani and all these, you know, bad guys around the world. Believe me, that was sending a true message of strength. And by the way, he was doing it with conviction and he was doing it with energy and he was doing it with passion. And he was doing it with strength, which is what you would expect from an American president. When you see a guy riding a beach cruiser in the middle of the day, this is the commander in chief of the United States of America. I mean, what message does that send the world that is literally in the middle of, you know, just so you know, horribleness? Eric, it's, well, um, of course, Eric wouldn't pass on the opportunity to use Joe Biden's outdoor exercise habits to elevate the purported greatness of his daddy. But it definitely didn't end there. Eric had to educate us on how the Biden administration does not display worthiness of respect. Because, Sean, you know what the head of the Taliban respects? Strength, toughness. You know what the head of North Korea, you know, it respects? Toughness. What do you think Vladimir Putin, who ran the KGB, respects? A guy on a beach cruiser, you know, on a Saturday in Delaware? That's not what he respects. He respected a president who stood in front of the greatest war planes ever created, which he was ordering by the hundreds. He respects a guy who's sending javelin missiles to the Ukraine by the thousands. He respects a guy who has strength and energy. And again, we're not seeing that from this administration. I mean, and who does Eric think was a strong leader worthy of respect? I'll give you one guess. Well, listen, Putin was in with the KGB. He can read people and he could tell that Donald Trump was a very strong person, right? Yeah, because the world leaders really definitely respected Trump. Of course, Eric is convinced that daddy was playing puppet master to Vladimir Putin. By the way, my father had a great relationship with Putin. All the while, he's sending thousands of Javelin missiles to the Ukraine. Isn't that really amazing? I mean, Biden has no relationship with Putin, and he's literally sending blankets to Ukraine. What do you think? Is Eric Trump out here effectively doing his daddy's bidding for his 2024 potential bid? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.